Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Mark Temanov and Alberto Fogelman. This game was played in Buenos Aires, Argentina in 1960. Temanov had white pieces and he started with d4. Fogelman played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, bishop to b4, Nimzo, Indian defense, e3 going for Rubenstein variation. Fogelman castle kingside, bishop to d3, black to move, knight to c6 was played, this is not the most played move, d5, c5 and b6 are the three most played moves. So Fogelman goes for a surprise with knight to c6, a3, bishop takes on c3 check, white to move, how to recapture? Just kidding. Pawn takes bishop. e5. Knight to e2. e4. Attacking the bishop and gaining the space on the board. Bishop to b1. Knight to a5 attacking the pawn on c4. How to defend the pawn? What would you do? Perhaps bishop to a2 could be played, maybe c5. Instead, Taimano attacked the pawn on e4. Rook to e8, defending. And now it becomes interesting. White to move. And to play an unusual move. f3. Usually you don't play this kind of move. Because black rook is lined up with white king. e takes on f3. White to move. How will you continue now? Perhaps pawn takes pawn comes to mind. Do you agree? Taimano castle at kingside, d6. If you wonder what happens if pawn takes pawn, well, there was a game two years earlier in 1958. Black did capture the pawn, white played rook to f4, and white won the game. So in this game we have d6, e4, but now pawn takes pawn on g2. Rook to f4. Why rook to f4? White is intending rook to h4, attacking the pawn on h7. Bishop to e6. Black is two pawns up and not behind in development. He is even threatening to win one more pawn. So, player with black pieces was quite pleased with his opening. White to move. Rook to a2. Knight takes on c4. Black is three pawns up. White to move. Spectators expected rook takes pawn on g2. It's very natural, doesn't it? Tamano played rook to f2. Tamano is playing unpredictably in this game. Well, black is afraid of the exchange sacrifice on f6. King to h8 was played. Rook to h4. Black to move, and now Fogelman is in a panic mode. Knight to d7, this is discovered attack on the rook. And intending knight to f8. But better was knight to g8. Knight to d7. Like I said, discovered attack on the rook. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? The best move for white is... Mano played queen to h5, threatening queen takes pawn on h7 checkmate. Knight to f8, as planned, if h6, then bishop takes on h6, pawn takes bishop, queen takes on h6 check, king to g8, queen to h8 checkmate. So we have knight to f8, white to move, and to play a winning move. Please pause and find the winning move for white in this position. What did you find? Taimano played e5, unleashing his white light square bishop. Black's position is lost. After lots of hard thinking, Fogelman played queen takes on h4. Well, he considered g6 and didn't like this move because of this continuation. Bishop takes on g6. 
Pawn takes bishop and now rook takes knight check, removing the defender of h7 pawn. After rook takes rook, queen takes on h7 checkmate. So we have a desperate move to prolong the game. Queen takes rook. Queen takes queen. D takes on e5. Knight to e4. Note that Taimanov is not interested in winning the pawn. On g2, there is an idea behind this move. Knight to g6. Attacking the queen. Queen to h5. Knight to f4. Attacking the queen. White played the move and black resigned. The move is... Bishop takes knight, black resigned. One line goes like this. Pawn takes bishop and now knight to f6. Threatening queen takes pawn on h7. Checkmate if pawn takes knight, still checkmate on h7. So, black would have to play h6, but then knight takes rook. And after rook takes knight, rook to e2, pinning the bishop, threatening d5. After say knight to d6, still d5, bishop to d7, rook takes rook check, bishop takes on e8, perhaps ending queen to d3, checkmate. If king goes to g8, queen to e7, and I guess we can stop here. What do you think of this game? How many moves did you guess? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.